video here of police trying to stop a stolen public works truck. This happened yesterday, and the man police say was behind it all was in court this morning. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian is live and over the Rhine. Anna, this is where that chase ended. Craig, it is right by 13th and Main Street. Ziegler Park is right here behind me, and you saw in that video, this was not a high speed chase, but police say it did take hours to track down that stolen truck. A city of Norwood pickup truck driving down Vine Street, followed by at least six Cincinnati police cars. It's a strange sight, especially if you don't know the truck is stolen. Mr. Bramble's approaching. Mark Bramble is the man authorities say stole this truck. They say a Norwood Public Works crew was working on Montgomery Road when Bramble hopped into one of their trucks and took off. Norwood has these flock license plate readers, and police say the truck was spotted several times. So we could kind of track it a little bit, where it was going, um, where we could kind of maybe guess where it was going to head to. Where it was going ended up being downtown Cincinnati and over the Rhine. Police say they had several sightings over a few hours. A gigantic white F-250, um, Ford F-250, and it had the yellow lights on top going, so it kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. They tried to do a traffic stop on them. The defendant drove erratically. They attempted to deploy stop sticks. They took no effect. He fled. Police deployed more stop sticks, causing enough damage to the truck's tires that debris was left in the road. Ultimately, it was stop sticks that got the truck to stop. Police say Bramble got out of the car and started running, but they were able to stop him and arrest him. This is crazy. Now he's facing several charges, including theft, obstructing official business, resisting arrest, and failure to comply with an order from police. This morning, a judge set Bramble's bond at $155,000. In Over the Rhine, Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News.